Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. All of your default spreadsheets contain space for header and footer data. To view this area, select View from the menu bar, and then choose Header and Footer. This actually opens up the Page Setup dialog box, displaying the Header Footer tab within that dialog box for you. On this tab, you'll see the header and footer for your current spreadsheet. You may use the header and footer drop-downs to select from preset standard headings, or you can click custom header or custom footer to create your own custom header or footer for your spreadsheet. If you choose to create a custom header or a custom footer, then what you need to do is in the header or footer dialog box, depending on which button you clicked, click into either the left section, center section, or right section text boxes and type in your header or footer information into those spaces provided. Excel also provides you with multiple buttons that allow you to insert pre-created fields of information into your headers and footers. In XP in 2003, they are font, which changes our font, page number, number of pages, date, time, path and file name, file name, spreadsheet tab, insert picture, and format picture. In the older versions of the program, you did not have the ability to insert pictures, so you won't have those buttons available in Excel 97 or 2000. And you can click on any of these to insert that type of information into your headers and footers. So for example, we could insert a picture by clicking into the appropriate section, and then clicking the Insert Picture button. Here you can look for the appropriate logo or picture to insert and then click the insert button. And this can be a nice touch to more formalize your spreadsheets. Once you've created your custom header or your custom footer, just click OK in the header or footer dialog box and you'll see the data as it would actually appear in the top of your printed spreadsheets in the header footer tab up at the top. At this point, you can click OK to apply your selected header and footer information. You won't actually see it in your spreadsheet, but you will see it if you check out the page in Print Preview. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.